Welcome back, everybody. Today is the 23rd of December, and yesterday, the 22nd, Samsung released the One UI 8.5 Beta 2. The version is ZYLF, and I'm really, really happy because this is also one of the first beta versions that I'm getting over the air. If you want to find out how I was able to register officially for the beta and get those things, uh, over the air without the need to sideload, then you can just go and watch one of my previous videos. It involves uh, some tinkering, you buying an eSIM from UK or Germany, and then also a VPN app, etc. It's not rocket science. And by the way, it's very convenient because right now, yes, I am finally able to officially download it. So this thing here is the second beta software update. And one of the perks being part, officially part of the beta, program from the Samsung members is the fact that you can just submit feedback, but then you can also go inside the better community and see things that do not work or that do work. People are very active there, you know, they are all the time providing some suggestions and stuff like this. But first things first, let's try to see the change log. So one of the things that is new in one year 8.5 is this new update screen that kind of like looks nice and cool and cozy and it's different compared to the previous one. Uh, what about the software information? Yeah, it's Android 16, it's Z YLH and the security patch level is from the 1st of December. And what I can do from here, I can click last update and here it is guys, last successful update. Again, there are some perks if you decide to enroll officially in the Samsung members app. Perk number one is you can get those updates OTA or over the air. Perk number two with this comes the fact that you don't need to sideload, uh, which is not really working because the root activity launch is not working, but hey, let's focus on the beta too. One year 8.5 ZYLF. So let's try to take a look at the change log, the bugs that have been fixed, improve the issue of initializing quick panel settings when booting uh, intermittently, improvement of errors such as quick panel menu, screen icon spacing location, improving the issue of photos organized into a gallery group, folders being moved to the first album page, improve the stuttering issue when pressing the more view during a call, improved rebooting issue while living intermittently in, again some more improvements, issue that the volume up button doesn't work under certain conditions. They also improve the issue with sound generation when you are making a call within Bluetooth car kit connection under certain conditions. Now, this is really cool. What the heck is under certain conditions? All right, anyway. Improvement of issues that are forcibly terminated when using multiple third apps and stabilization of software through multiple app updates, such as cameras, which is actually very good because one of the biggest updates here is the new camera assistant, which Oddly enough, when I downloaded the beta, the first thing I did, I immediately went to the Samsung store and there were some apps that I was able to update, such as the Expert Role. And you can see the version from Expert Role has just been released like two days ago and it works. But hey, there was no mentioning of the new camera assistant. And actually the new camera assistant is an APK that I downloaded from the internet. And I'm gonna put a link down below somewhere in the comments if you wanna try it out. So let me immediately start my camera, guys and I'm gonna show you all the new stuff. Now, by the way, if you pay attention, right, you will already see some new things. Now, come close, all right? See here, all right? I have things that never existed before. Like, for example, I am able to manipulate my exposure directly here from the status bar, or I can also try to think with the white balance. You can see it's coming up here. And I'm not even using the pro mode. This is just the regular photo mode. Oh, I can always, of course, go back to auto. What happens when I go to video? It's the same stuff. Now I can click here. Uh, this is gonna turn out framing on and off, or I can just click here and try to play with my exposure, or can directly click here and try to change uh, the frame. And by the way, I can also try to access the settings from here, but now it's far more convenient when I have those things there. And now pay attention, when I go inside more, there's gonna be at least two new things that are actually not so new, but they were missing and now they're back. And this is the dual recorder. Say hi to the camera. So now I am able to shoot a video with two cameras and I can of course select the lenses. 
for example, like front and ultra wide, or let's say front and telephoto, you know the drill and you know how these things work. So uh, this thing is back. And one of the other things, by the way, that is back is the single take. With the single take, you can take a video up to like 15 seconds and then it's gonna try to turn it into some other things. Honestly, it's not a feature that I use, but it's here and it's working. So from here, you will have the option to, you know, use this thing if you ever use that one. And now let me just go inside the settings and show you the good stuff. Because again, as I mentioned, probably the biggest update in One UI 8.5 is the camera assistant that oddly enough is not available for me directly in Samsung store. So now when I click the camera assistant, right, one of the new things that you're going to see is going to be here in the focus. It says, Touch autofocus, auto exposure in pro video mode. Autofocus, auto exposure while recording. So I have selected this, but you can also choose only autofocus. Now, in my case, I'm using auto focus and auto exposure. Let's head up to the pro video. So this is now the pro video, right? If I click here, you're gonna see, all right, I have corrected the exposure. Now, what happens when I just hold my finger like this? I have the option now to fix the autofocus there and fix the exposure there, which means that when I start moving my camera and all, the exposure will not get autocorrected. And I can also demonstrate this by doing it like that. All right, you can see right now the exposure gets compensated because this area here is um, very bright. This area is dark. So in order for the phone to be able to capture something, it corrects uh, the exposure. But now I've locked the exposure and if I start moving my phone, you're gonna see it's not gonna correct the exposure. The same thing happens there, right? So right now I have the option to focus the exposure where I want and lock it. And the other thing is the autofocus. So I can decide to focus here or there, or you can also use the same spot like boom, just go here, make it like this. And now I'm gonna have like an autofocus, auto exposure only here. This is a very, very useful feature if you wanna shoot like some dynamic scene without the phone to try to compensate the exposure for you all the time. So this is absolutely handy. It's so good that it's here. Some more new features, focus speaking in pro mode. First things first, let me try to demonstrate. I'm gonna put my dual sense here. So I'm gonna head to the pro mode. So right now I am in the pro photo. All right, what happens when I click here, the autofocus? Right now the phone is uh, autofocusing. What happens when I start manipulating the focus slider, right? It's going to show me all these areas with green where the focus lands. And now with these new settings, you can apparently change the color. So this thing wasn't new. You were always able to get the focus speaking, but right now through the camera assistant, you can change the color. So let's just go put yellow. And you can also choose the line thickness from thin to medium to very thick. So now everything with focus will have a yellow line. What happens if I want to focus, let's say on the back, right? I can focus now on my speaker or I can focus also on my Roland SC88 Pro. You can see right now, no focus here, focus is there. How do I know? Well, because the focus is speaking there and everything is surrounded by a yellow line. All right, and now if I go closer, right? You can see I can focus back on my PlayStation control. Samsung is definitely gearing up. One of my theories is the fact that they know people will probably hate the S26 series for being so similar uh, to almost like the previous four generations. So they have to kind of like gear up on the software to be able to give us at least something. But anyway, it's a topic for another discussion. What about the shutter? We have still the quick tap shutter. We have timer multi photo options. We have the video recording in pro mode. We have auto HDR photo softening. By the way, something that is new, there is something called Called advanced photo mode controls. With this menu, you can add pro controls to the photo mode and limit shutter speed and ISO to reduce motion blur and grain. Motion blur being one of the things for which people are really hating on Samsung stock camera. So yeah, they're doing something. Let's check the options. The minimum shutter speed right now is set to none. We have one over 30, one over 120, one over 500, and one over 1000. All right, so you can modify this from here. Maximum ISO, 50, 100, 200, 400. And then you have the white balance control. Now, by the way, this is also why you're able to see the white balance from the regular photo mode. Add white balance to the photo mode indicators and quick controls. Memorize this, indicators, that's important. Exposure value control, add exposure value to the indicators in all photo modes. One of the reasons also why you are able to see the exposure. Advanced resolution options, adaptive pixel and upscale digital zoom. I think it's the same old, same old here. So I'm scrolling down. We have something new, optical limit stabilization. So the OS, you're able to turn this off provided that you also turn the OIS from the camera settings, which is fine. I mean, if there is a reason for you to, 
yeah, maybe you want to shoot something like the Blair Witch Project movie. Okay, that's fine. You don't need optical limit stabilization. Um, then, guys, we have the presets in Pro Mode. I don't think this existed before, right? 3D capture is something that we've seen before. So the additional modes is the single take and dual rec, which uh, you've seen me demonstrate and it also makes me think that most probably they are will try to add some new modes there now something that is very very cool inside the camera preview there is something called customized indicators and this is very very sweet now okay you've seen me demonstrate how i was able to change the white balance and the exposure from the photo and the video well i can decide what i want to get here in the indicator All right so right now i have the flash okay you can see ratio of ratio on you have the resolution which is also handy you have the exposure control you have motion photo you have filters and face this is on the photo indicators on the video indicators i think i enabled everything flash super steady ratio also very handy video size exposure and auto framing and it's not that you are not able to access this from the menu down below but it's very cool to have this also on top is there something else i think this tilter wireless lens controller thing is new but i'm not sure about this and i'm gonna go back inside the camera and i will let you know why i kind of like this because imagine i'm shooting a photo right and it's too bright and i want to compensate the exposure so i will immediately see the value from here because again you can apparently do this from here right i can compensate the exposure but i will not know what the value is all right, so right now from using this button above as an indicator, I see, oh, I modified it to minus 0 0.5. And the same goes also with the white balance. Now, of course, I will not be able to see the exact value like warm or cold, but if it's indicated here as yellow, it means that I'm not using the old white balance. It means that I'm using a custom setting. It's the same for the video. And by the way, yes, absolutely, you can see my settings are saved here so i'm gonna do this test i'm gonna close everything and i'm gonna reopen my camera all right and sadly you know it will reset the settings maybe there's gonna be an option for you to save those settings so that every time you just restart your camera you will end up with having the same values let's go back one more time in the pro camera because yeah we have here the presets and from the preset settings you can see i can create a preset from my current setting so let's just name this uh, VST1 and this is very very cool because you can set up ISO, shutter speed, the uh, EV, the exposure value, the focus, you know, manual auto and the white balance and I can save it. All right, and right now, guys, you can see if I go back to the pro mode, I can just click here and boom, I have my preset, which is really, really cool. Besides this, there are not too many new changes. Yeah, a lot of bug fixing. Let's try to check the home screen. 17500151. What is, by the way, the version of the camera APK? Let's try to check it. So if I go inside the camera, it's 165. 0114. What about the animation? Well, it's Samsung, you know. I think that at some point uh, they are trying to match everybody else, and with good luck and with home up, I think they'll probably even level up the game. This is a really exciting update, so a lot of bug fixing and new features only for the camera. With the camera assistant, if you want me to check something else in particular, guys, let me know. I really, really start to like how One UI 8.5 is emerging and I really hope that we're gonna experience it with the full potential. Sadly, I think that this is going to work only on the new S26 series with all the new features, but who knows? Who knows what Samsung are going to do? Anyway, I really hope that you have enjoyed this uh, rather long video. If that's the case, you are more than welcome to check some of my previous videos, guys. Stay safe, VST over and bye.